Hey guys, Ru here with Not Avid for Blender. This one's gonna be about triangulation of particularly difficult area. Now you need to triangulate your mesh to export it to uh, to a baker, like you know, substance painter Mummer said. So if you wanna uh, you know um, get clean results like this, you really need to work on your mesh and you know uh, work on your triangulation, especially in areas which are really tricky. You know, like here on these. Um, cutouts which are actually you know going through a bent geo um so you know I'll, I'll show you how to do this right so now if i'm going to go to back to my mesh here in blender uh, you're looking at the high poly at the moment and the low poly is this one okay so that's a low poly and low poly you know i already triangulated some of it and you can go with Control t which is automatic triangulation and it works fine guy guys even through end guns i mean this is you know automated triangulation through a massive you know biggest end gun and you see that everything is peachy no problem with the baking so if anyone tells you that you cannot use end gun because of you know uv unwrapping or baking or whatever bullshit just slap them from it because they're full of it okay so now let me show you how to triangulate this area because this one is actually really tricky okay this is a low poly mesh but if i'm going to go to my high poly mesh the high poly mesh wasn't triangulated yet so i'm going to turn it off and grab this one and you know not this one this one that's the one and you can see that if i'm gonna go with select all and control t well you know shit's gonna break loose and you can't bake this because you're gonna get you know uh, a pick of a, a result so what you need to do is you need to work a little bit on on this mesh and i'll show you how to do it okay just quick two words before we start guys there is a patron for blender bros we run it together with josh awesome three tiers tons of toots decals trim sheets coming next month also an amazing uh, new concept model coming next month as well this month we got spaceship and game assets so check us out link in the video description so first of all what we need to do is isolate the area okay so we need to go with a cutter preferably a box cutter because why not it's easy uh, press k and boom and we got these loops here which we can gg and slide them in a bit okay and gg and slide them in a bit and then you need to go manually on them okay so select these and gg and move them closer closer and select these and move them closer okay so move them closer the most difficult area is gonna be you know this one when the, when the thing bends and also we have this curve here going on so this is gonna be um, a real bastard to fix but we can do it so let's just start connecting edges now this one you see that there is a um issue here and the reason for it is the angle of this uh, of this thing falling into the bevel because if i'm gonna you know um show you the net um by pressing shift c you can see that you know that's a bit of a bastard here right so we need to fix this thing so in order to fix this before we move this edge okay we need to secure this um this curvature meaning we need to run an edge somewhere here okay so j right and then now instead of removing this first i'm going to actually run something like this or even like this right boom and no vertices and i can dissolve edges now what i'm gonna do is something that all of the quad boys gonna faint looking at um now what i'm gonna do is make all the quad boys you know faint uh, i'm going to subdivide this little bugger and i'm gonna select all these verts here select this one go to q menus uh, hard ops operation and star connect okay and this will connect all my verts here create you know triangles and these are the quads here so we can triangulate them like that manually that's fine uh, everything is peachy corner looks good all right now we're going to fix this one in the same way probably this would be a bad idea because i can tell you that you know there's a very i actually went pretty well look at that so well sorted this one is a bit pulling here okay you can see that it's a bit pulling here and the reason for it is that simply um you know this situation here i think the double double um double triangle here is a bit of a problem so what we could do instead run something like this okay so it follows the curve you see if you don't follow the curve you know you're gonna ruin it a bit it's never gonna be super perfect i mean you know this is baking guys no one's gonna be looking like this in a game okay uh, from afar it looks perfect so you know you need to you need to pick your battles yeah but you know this is this is good enough and same here you know on this side we need to fix this so let's you know run a uh, loop in here 
these um, let me just turn off the box cutter uh, these could be connected up here so operations and star connect and in fact this one could run here you want it to run more or less perpendicular to the edge uh, to the bevel so that's why you know when i remove this the shading uh, gets much better subdivide this one select all these select this one operations and star connect star connect i think it's the um um i'm not sure if it's the mesh machine tool or i think it's mesh machine yeah it's mesh, ma mesh machine so anyway it's linked to hardops by the way so um let's subdivide this if you don't have this you need to do it manually okay or you could use the hardops um, edit tool which is here and press h and then i think it was jane j for joining and you just simply you know select select edges like, like this and then you know uh like this it's a bit fiddly but you know you can work it and then enter right so you can do it this way if you want to um this one is a bit problematic uh so what we might do is you know run around another loop here and maybe do something like this instead so uh, select these two and i think this should be fine uh operations star connect yeah that's fine same here, this is okay. I mean, this edge, to be honest, is not really necessary. We could probably, you know, connect it like this. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. And now we need to do the same thing in the bottom. Um, so bring these closer. Yeah, a bit closer. The closer you bring them, um, the easier it is to manipulate with, uh, with the angles and the curves and whatnot. And also, you know, People say that you need quads to get, you know, clean shading. There's bollocks too. What you need is equal size of quads. That's important, yeah. Because if you don't have equal size of quads, you're going to have problems. Try to um, subdivide a mesh that um, consists of um, quads of unequal size, and you'll see what happens. You're going to get a total mess. Uh, connect these star connect boom and then we can connect these uh with j and this one here with j and bob john cool select these connect these operations star connect and we got a bit of a pig in here so let's see how we can fix this shall we we could move technically you know one of these vertices a bit to the left and fix you see so you don't really change the curvature much but you know uh, you make it a bit better yeah so uh, select these, select these, and Q operations star connect. It's fine. Uh, same here. We need, to, we need to bring them a bit closer. So GG, move them closer, and connect these two perpendicular line. Again, same story. Subdivide this one. Okay, and boom. And we can run something like this. Uh, this one actually could be run here, and these could be run here. So operations star connect good 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 and these could be run here so we could try to run them here but i don't think it's gonna work um so star connect yeah see this pull here and these pulls here it's just you really need to follow the curvature guys this is essential right so and you see even though even though we have an angle here uh, a massive one right star connect we have an angle here it's going to be fine because now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press uh, symmetry with hard up symmetrize it select everything Control t and i'm done and then i need to tweak it okay so i need to tweak it a little bit gg move this one way or another to fix you know any shading issues symmetrize it again and angle schmeng guns i got a clean mesh yeah you see what i mean so um that's how it's done guys okay and if you you know triangulate all the mesh um from the high poly and then you triangulate the mesh from the low poly you know you bring it to baker engine and you know you should get really clean results um like this okay these old details were baked and you know after um, cleaning and making sure that all the mesh works perfectly and uh, you know marmoset toolback is is probably the most superior baking engine um it's superior to substance painter it's it's 
I don't even want to compare it to Blender because what Blender does is, uh, you know, is a joke with baking. I mean, Blender does a really good job when he when he bakes at 90 degrees, like when you bake, for example, trim sheets. When you use the the like when I was using the add-on called GrubDog, that's the one. Um, GrubDog is superb for baking, yeah, um, except for maybe curvature map. But curvature map is always a problem in Blender. So you know, if you want to do a good job, bring it to Substance Painter. But to be honest, if you want really, you know, like exceptional bakes, I really highly recommend you know Mamos a Toolback. You got one month of trial. Check it out because it's amazing. So anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. And as usual, links to Hardops, Box Cutter, and Machine uh, Mesh Machine and machine tools in the video description. Thank you for watching, catch you next one.